So, here we go again, I guess. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raf and today is a really, really, really busy day. Going back to university. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, but I will get into all that later, but it is 10 to 11. I have a lot to do. Yesterday, I went to Manchester with my other sister to see my other sister to get my nails done. Aren't they beautiful, you know? Yeah, so check out the nail boo on instagram <laughs> anyways um so i came back like super super late i think we got back home at like one something in the morning so yeah bit of an adventure but who cares <laughs> yeah i always find it kind of fun to do things like that however that has um you know caused a bit of a time crunch I went to sleep at like four something in the morning, I think. No, 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 it was three something, it was three something. And I was supposed to get up at like seven. I ended up getting up at like nine something instead. So yeah, but I'm kind of glad I slept in so I'm like less tired. I'm leaving soon and as you can see, there's still stuff that is not packed. So I need to get on that like now and not talk too much. So let's just get straight to it. But we do have a lot of stops to make when we do finally like set off. I need to go buy my food and all my cleaning stuff and just everything. Like there's so much to buy. I also want to go to Ikea to go find a couple things. And I'm sure there was somewhere else to go, but I don't remember anymore. As per fashion for me, apparently whenever I'm going to university, everything is super last minute if you didn't catch that already. So that's just um, the vibes right now. But yeah, like I just said, let me actually like go do something instead of just sitting here and babbling on as I tend to do. Also, I just wanted to say as well, I was supposed to technically move in yesterday, but I changed my like move in time thing to today. Hopefully everything just turns out fine. And today is just okay because I already just woke up being like, oh, and I just felt a bit ill and I was like, Ugh, like just uh, you know so you just don't you know and it's just uh, you know <laughs> i just was not feeling it i was like i don't want to go back to university like that is no secret i'm happy to like go move back and like live on my own in my studio and stuff but like i don't actually want to do university but that's a whole separate thing anyways let's just see what happens let me like go actually pack my stuff i'm almost done now like packing all of my stuff it's been like an hour i think something like that i think i've done like a pretty decent job packing this time around like i don't think i've overpacked or like you know brought too many clothes or anything i went through like my clothes yesterday before i went to manchester with my sister just you know filtering things out that i did not need to take because like first year thinking back now i brought so many things that i like never even wore i wore them like once or twice the entire time i've always had an overpacking problem so you know <laughs> but i'll probably be done now in probably like 10 minutes and we're also leaving soon if i didn't already say that so that's great i guess also kind of totally random but the weather is so disgusting today like i know this is the uk but like come on you know i'm not vibing with it at all also my room is very very messy I didn't really get a chance to clean properly, but you know what, well, it's whatever I guess. I'll clean when I come back. So I'll just go take my last few things down now and then I guess I'll just see what the vibes are. Like see, just see what's going on. <laughs> We've packed everything now. It was a bit of a struggle, but we got there. Also, you know I said about the moving thing changing. I just got an email saying that getting all my reminder viewing blah 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 so that's good that you know someone finally replied after literally all this time but that's all gucci now i need to hurry up and go back downstairs so we can leave arrived try this door we have arrived at my accommodation and um you. i just wanted to check and um we're kind of lost but you know yeah we got in we got in we got in so you know all is all is okay so gym room meeting room oh my goodness i've moved into a bougie accommodation <laughs> this is so cool guys 
kind of kind of still lost, but you know, I'll, I'll get back to you guys, but it's pretty damn cool in here. Lift! Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you've got brains. I did not know this was like this nice. Doors are closing. so fancy. Fancy you. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my god, you stuck in there. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Wow. I was gonna say, do I get a mattress? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is quite Check nice. it out. It's decent, it's decent. It's small, there's an ironing board. Mm. It's okay, I couldn't, I can't make them. Uh, oh well there's drawers over there I guess, I guess I could use those. See what the bathroom's like. Is it wet floor? No, no. Oh, okay, okay. It's decent, it's yeah, decent. Okay. Guys, this accommodation is nice. Like obviously I've seen pictures of it and stuff, but like looking around and stuff, it's really like, it's really nice. The only thing is, the fridge is tiny. I knew it would be, but like actually seeing it and the freezer is just like a tiny compartment, literally like this big. So let's see what we do about that, I guess. That's, that, that's going to be a bit of an issue. I'm sure I'm going to come up with something, a creative solution. So yes, but it's okay so far. And we're going to go back to the car and start like moving my things in, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I'm obviously glad to be like living in a studio, but everything's just kind of smaller. Like obviously last year, my shared accommodation, like there's my fr fridge compartment, our freezer space. The wardrobe was to die for. Like, oh, it was so big, there was so much space. Anyways, uh, I'll do it before like run down and everything later, I guess, with my thoughts and all that jazz when I've like had time to think. But you know, just like initial impressions and stuff. That's just what I'm thinking. But yeah, there's a gym. With like actual stuff in it, so I didn't even know that, but that's a nice surprise. A um, meeting room. Can't remember what was someone's coming, so I'm gonna go. Alright, so the time now is something like maybe 9 or 10 something, but I've hardly vlogged anywhere near as much as I wanted to, but let me just, you know, say why, obviously. So, I just kind of left it at coming into the room. A lot happened since then, obviously. So that was probably like, I don't know, like at least five hours ago or something. So we moved all of my stuff in and then we went to Asda to go buy, you know, all of my groceries, food, you know, all that jazz. So we moved in and went to Asda and stuff. And on the way to Asda, like after we'd finished packing, you know, bringing all my things in, we were on our way to Asda, I do believe. And um, I checked my phone and I had like three or four like missed calls from some random number and uh, an email. So the building had emailed me the woman who was downstairs in the reception that, you know, gave me my key and whatnot. Um, she basically said, whoops, give you the wrong key, you're in the wrong place. So I was like, what? So basically, I had completely moved into the wrong studio, which I kind of thought, like, first when I was, like, you know, setting up my accommodation for this year, last year, they gave me, like, the wrong papers in the first place. Like, they gave me the wrong number of the flat. So they had to sort that out. So, like, the numbers have always been kind of twisted in my head. And I was just really confused. And then I was, like, clicking the floor number when we were, like, coming up and stuff. And I was like, something about this just doesn't seem right. But I was like, maybe it's because, um, obviously last year I was on a different floor number, you know, my first accommodation. So I thought maybe it's just because, you know, I'm so used to clicking a different number. But no, I was, in fact, just on the wrong floor in the wrong flat all of my stuff was in the wrong place i had moved into the wrong place <laughs> so i was just like oh my god but you know that was okay um turned out um she emailed you know in the email the first one the, the only one i guess and then um, she said that she's left the key in my box thingy you know the letterbox in the letterbox thing so yeah by the time i came back she was gone she said that she leaves at six and it was after six when we came back so i just checked in there and there it was so i've currently got two keys and i don't know where either of them are i'm doing great guys they'll be they'll be somewhere i'll find them later but anyways so we did that went to asda and stuff and was in there for ages because I was trying to get the ingredients for kanpungi. I really want to make it again. It's so delicious. And I've not had it in so long. And when I made it before, I think I've tried to make it twice last year. It did not go well really either time. 
my system makes it so much better but you know I guess all I can do is keep practicing also I started lacking French toast this summer so I was trying to get my ingredients for French toast too but couldn't get any cinnamon and then later on when we went to Tesco Express you know the little Tesco because I totally forgot to buy any soap from Asda so <laughs> bit of an L just to have zero soap zero toothpaste actually I have a bit of toothpaste but you know I was gonna you know obviously buy more no mouthwash or nothing so when we came back after Asda. I think we, we brought in like all the groceries first to the correct flat and then after that we were up and down up and down up and down to get all of my stuff from the wrong flat into the right flat so now I'm in the right flat and when I came in this one the first time with my mum she was like oh I like the layout of this one better or like I like this one better and I was like they're exactly the same they just flipped. Kind of get what she means though like I do kind of like this one better like when I came in here I just kind of instantly kind of felt more at home but maybe because like this one was actually mine you know I mean a bit weird since I did think that was my I don't know but you know I just believe in that kind of stuff <laughs> so I just kind of felt it just felt different you know but currently all of my stuff is just kind of scattered as you know it goes when you move in or at least you know in my experience so I am going to try and unpack like some of my things i think i'm going to at least try and get um all the groceries like put away my mum and dad spent like a long time cleaning like basically everything which i really 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 appreciate firstly because just you know having it clean just makes me feel more mentally at ease and second that means i also do have to do it tomorrow so yay because um i was going to like spend you know part of my day cleaning i'm super super busy this week now but i also kind of need to find time to like socialize but i'll get onto that later because that's a whole nother thing i'm gonna clean my bathroom tomorrow probably like first thing basically but i'm gonna try and like do a lot of my unpacking tonight i think as well with like the little teeny tiny wardrobe honestly i'm gonna call it closet pretty american thing to say but i'm just gonna call it closet from here on out because this is literally a closet this is what the people call a closet when we first moved in all of, all of my stuff before I went to Asda I knew there was another step before we went to Asda but I can't remember so we moved in all of my things and then we went to Argos and then Wilco and then back to our no and then to the market and then to Argos because we went to Argos first to buy this freezer this mini freezer because the freezer in the fridge is literally this big and um i that's not enough you know but i'm just super used to having the amount of space that i you know had last year firstly just at home and um just in my first year accommodation because obviously in shared accommodation it's just you know more space plus there was like five of us there and then one of us left and then half, most of the time there was like never everybody but even when everybody was there like it was just enough space you know probably more than enough even um well you know it's like just right <laughs> so we went all these places and then brought all that back and then we went to Asda and that's when I found out that I was in the wrong studio after all that and then we moved everything here and then after my mum and dad kind of like finished cleaning and whatnot then we went to McDonald's and that's just where I've come back from now I'm all on my own now in case I didn't already say it was not already apparent enough I wanted to talk earlier but my mum and dad were probably like talking 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 so I was just like I just I can't really say anything right now um it's too noisy so I was like I guess I'll just wait until they leave I guess and like here we are yeah so we went to McDonald's as per and then came back and then basically just like threw me out of the car and spit I'm kidding that obviously did not happen so um yeah just quick quick thing though like um and I was just like well bye see you later and I like grabbed my things and just like left and then dramatically waving at my sister and I was like running alongside the car and stuff oh my god that reminds me as well but I get I'll, I'll move on to that later the people at the table I'll just say out loud to kind of put a mental note in my brain but I'm gonna add that into kind of the socializing things that I want to say after this whole thing um <laughs> anyways so that's kind of where we are at right now with the whole entire like day's process of moving in and all the things I didn't show you and what's been going on anyway so I guess let me move on to the whole like socializing side of things now which you know it's kind of related to the whole moving vlog thing but you know it's still kind of uni related and uh, related to the events of today so let me, I guess, start with the events of 
today <laughs> at some point anyways so we were getting in the lift and this girl was already in the lift and then she was kind of like looking at us we're kind of looking at her kind of same awkward vibes at my last accommodation because it said on the thing like maximum two capacity you know covid blah 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 um so i was like oh i don't know if she'll feel like okay if we're getting in the lift and i was like oh is it okay if we're getting lift and she's like yeah yeah go ahead go ahead so i was like all right great thank you uh, and then i was just kind of talking to her i was like come on i need to like talk to people because <laughs> that's what i didn't do last year and so I was talking to her and I, was, I don't even know what I asked her really. I think I asked her like, oh, when did you move in? Like, blah, blah, blah. And then we're kind of talking like, oh, what year are you in? Where are you at? Where are you at? Blah, blah, I'm pretty sure I asked her the question, a question first. I don't remember what, so <laughs> pat on the back to introvert me. And then she's like, oh, what uni are you at? And I asked her what uni she at. And then later on we saw her again, but like we didn't get in lift that time because I was like with my whole family basically, so yeah. She kind of let her go up on her own. I've seen just a lot of people today. And I hope I can kind of see them again or like other people because you know people seem chill also when we first came to this one the correct flat a girl was knocking on my door and I was like uh, I was like what if somebody like so they moved into my flat you know and then um, she was probably just like there knocking knocking and I was like and I was like oh I'm sorry I think that's my flat and then she was like oh sorry I thought my friend was in this flat I was going around and I was like oh yeah no problem and then like, we came in and all was well blah blah and also downstairs I think after that there was these two other girls sat at one of the tables and then they're kind of looking at me and stuff but I was like kind of busy trying to get like the right keys and stuff I was probably like zooming in and out in and out so I didn't really have to time to stop but I kind of went to go over to them and be like oh hi you know I'm just I'm really trying to step out of my comfort zone oh my god but it's just it's not the easiest thing to do <laughs> also I don't know if I said this before but I was gonna obviously you know do my little knock around on the flats around my flat but then I got up here and you know saw how many flats there were there's 33 on each floor I'm not gonna do that I think I should still kind of step out my comfort zone and do that however I have also kind of changed my mind about that though because and on this brings me on to my next couple of things I have bumped into a lot of people today and they're not all talkative, you know, which is totally understandable. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just like a Northern thing. Cause obviously, you know, people in the North are like just generally kind of, you know, super friendly and everybody kind of smiles at each other and kind of, you know, makes conversation. But I was just, you know, walking past people and like smiling at them and stuff and they would not look at me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like blinkers you know or like blinders blinders isn't it and it's like tunnel vision and it's just like you know you know what i mean or like that awkward vibe you get when you like see someone from school from like back in the day or something and then you're just like you know it was like just weird so i was you know trying to like smile at these people maybe make a bit of conversation but they're proper just like you know which also let me just elaborate on that when i was leaving my family just not too long ago now we saw these people downstairs and they were like sat at the table eating about six of them or something and i was like let me join you like um jokingly when i was in the car with my sister and she was like oh my god when you go back in there you like need to say hi and i was like you know what i'm actually gonna do it like i i was convinced i was like i'm going to do it so you know i said bye to them blah blah, blah. and i got in the building and then i was <laughs> i was walking with my like stuff my couple of things in my arms and i was walking and i was like walking i was like <clears throat> Like clearing my throat, I was like, yeah, let, let me speak. I'm, I'm really about to do this. And then I, I was like walking up, you know, approaching them, walking past, and I like probably looked at, I looked at like all of them. And then like one of them kind of looked at me, like probably like looked away, and the rest of them were just like, <laughs> it was, I was just like, never mind. And then I like got through the doors, and I was like heading to the walls of the lift and stuff. And then um, I heard voices, and I was like, okay, okay, round two, let's try this again. And then they came round again, like kind of like, oh, probably like. <laughs> you know so anyways i don't know if it's gonna be very easy to make friends in this building but i'm going to still try i'm not gonna throw in a towel just yet it is night number one like it's not day one it's night number one one girl the, that i also saw in the lift at one point she also she seemed really nice though she like uh, really looked at me like smiling so i was like ah she seems nice so what i'm going to try and just kind of do here on out is just if i you know see people about still try and talk to them because i think that's probably something i could have done first year you know just kind of talk to people that i see here and there and just you know be like hi hey so this week i'm basically just really really busy i'm going to spend pretty much every single day this week editing my youtube videos and that's that's kind of the main priority after i finished unpacking yes tomorrow 
Um, I'm basically just going to spend my entire day editing and I'm going to just keep editing until I'm finished and then next week is kind of the same thing and I've got to like do my writing as well and then the week after that would start in uni but you know I keep I keep going back and forth on this whole having friends thing because I'm like is that really necessary because <laughs> I thought would have just cut into my time like I'm going to do a lot of things this year like I'm just going to be so busy already in and out of social life to it but like to be just you know a functioning person I feel like I should have a social life like last year I wasn't too bothered necessarily because you know it was coronavirus and it still is but obviously it's not as bad arguably <laughs> but last year I was absolutely like no I'm not I'm not too bothered about seeing people like I ain't trying to catch that Roni V these people out here they don't be caring like I'm just I would you know I was really really, really wary and I was like I'm just gonna kind of like keep it to myself but this year I'm kind of like let's let's go out and live life you know uni's only three years long plus if i happen to make friends or whatever in these like next two weeks i that's how long fresh freshers isn't it that's the thing i probably don't know what the hell is ever going on with freshers i just don't really know what's going on with social things like at all but i don't really be trying to like get to know i'm literally just gonna see what happens like social wise because i don't think i'm going to like proper actively actively try and like talk to people and like go out and do things but like if i just so happen to like meet somebody in the building or if i'm like forced to go on campus and like give me something face to face oh my god i probably don't want to do that then let's just see plus a cheer that i actually plan to do this year let's see what happens with that too i'm kind of planning really far forward but at the same time just going one step at a time but my you know main vibe i guess is to just see what happens that's kind of it on my like update on what has been going on today and just my like social life situation <laughs> i'm going to now try and put away like all of my food and my groceries and what not and then do my bed basically unpack everything except like my clothes after i'm done with the amount of unpacking i want to do tonight i'm just going to like brush my teeth and all that stuff and then just like get in bed i think it's going on maybe 10 or 11 now so i think i'm just gonna try and be in bed for like 12 maybe that's usually my bedtime that i've set for myself i kind of want to show you guys kind of the vibes now because i showed you the empty flat actually i didn't show you this empty flat i showed you the wrong empty flat but still it's basically the same vibes so just imagine it empty in this layout i am really really cold and um it's really giving me those first year vibes of how i was literally frozen the entire first term but I'm making a list and I'm checking it twice. I've got a list that I've just started making. Um, and so I've got three things on it. I just need to know how to work the radi radiator and the oven and the TV. So I'm going to ask the woman downstairs about it tomorrow when I go downstairs. But let me just show you the vibes of just what is, you know, what's where right now. So this is how it looks when you walk in currently. Well, there's some of just you know where i've just left things in the aftermath of my parents cleaning um yeah so i'm going to basically try and clear this space and just get all of my like food like all this clear this space as well just kind of get all this like put away and kind of just leave this i'll probably leave this area since that's kind of the place with my clothes but i will need to obviously get like pajamas out here's my new mini freezer but that's kind of it. Like, it's a decent size. Everything's okay. The bed's a decent Oh my gosh, how would it get in bed with my heated blanket? I literally almost forgot my heated blanket as well. So I'm really, really glad I bought it, brought it because I'd be getting so cold lately and it's just cold in here as well. And here is my mirror. But I'm just going to put my music on now actually and like actually do something because I've been saying that for like the past 20 minutes or something. So <laughs> let me actually get something done because I want to get in bed. I'm so cold. Okay, so I actually went and did something for about like maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. I've still got like a lot of stuff down here on the floor, but since I am going to clean tomorrow and like unpack my clothes and stuff like that i don't want to like kind of put stuff away and then decide i don't want it to go there and then like move it around and just be kind of like doing things over and over again so i decided to just kind of put away the food 
and that's kind of it and then like my cups and you know dishes pots and pans blah blah, blah all that do that tomorrow i think basically like as soon as i wake up or something i'm gonna place my prime order oh no i think i can do it now really schedule it so it comes like kind of early tomorrow so i can have like the sponges for like early in the morning so then i can like wash my dishes and have something to eat breakfast with and then just wash everything else later unless i decide to just do it all in one go whatever but just do that for now basically so i can like have breakfast and then after that after i've had my breakfast and all stuff like that then i will get to cleaning and kind of put everything else away i've also set up my toaster kind of i've taken it out of the box and i'm just kind of like doing the pre-use things <laughs> but that's kind of all i've done right now so that's kind of the end of the video to be honest but i'm just going to do a little you know show you around the room again once more before i just dip <laughs> so i've obviously left that over there and that's just basically the same over there and then i've cleared my desk finally kind of and then over here is a bit more clear as well and then i've put stuff in my thing here and in the cupboard here and here and everything else is still basically the same and then over here everything is still just whatever so it's still it's still pretty messy but you know we're kind of getting somewhere that is the end of today's video of my second year moving that sounds a bit crazy when i say it out loud because i don't think i've actually like said it out loud like my second year moving but yeah that is exactly what this was <laughs> but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did do not forget to hit that like button hit subscribe so you can watch more of this amazing content because why because it's fun over here and to make sure you don't miss that content make sure to hit that little bell icon so you can be notified every time i upload so that turns on your little post notifications i do really really hope you guys enjoyed this video like i literally just said but i'm really happy you watched it all the way to the end too like if you did got a little uh, extra love for you thank you very much and i think i might vlog some more rest of this week but i will see if obviously a video comes out then i did if it didn't then i did not but honestly like i said we'll just see what the hell happens because i literally don't know where i'm heading i'm just along for the ride i like that that sounds kind of cool did i make that up did i steal that i don't know i'll let you never know anyways though thanks so much for watching guys and bye <laughs>